everyone, we're gonna start out with a pinky blush like the one I have here and we're gonna apply it generously to our cheeks. Next I'm gonna use this lighter blush and I'm just gonna use that as a bit of a highlight and transi transition color. Next I'm gonna use a bronzer and the Black Widow has so much bronzer, her face is so bronzed, so we're going to start with doing it under our cheekbones for a bit of contouring. Then with a great big fluffy brush, I'm going to do it on my temples and my forehead. Don't be afraid to use a lot for this look. And of course, as always, put the bronzer onto your jawline and your neck so that your face isn't totally bronzed and not your body. Yeah, when I'm looking at the side, I'm just looking at a photo for reference. So just apply your concealer like so, just like what I've applied mine, and then just use your ring finger to blend it in gently. Next is contouring and I'm using this brown shade here and I'm going to use this to shape my nose. So I'm starting rather high for this and I'm just looking at a picture and just copying her nose. So it's quite large and a lot better than mine so I'm doing it down the sides more. And she's got a round button nose so I'm just tracing a bit of a roundness at the bottom there. Next, I'm just contouring a little bit of a more deep set chin like hers. And next, I'm using just a brown pencil to do the three freckles that Scarlett Johansson has on her face. I used a kind of reddy brown earthy color to fill in my brows because the Black Widow is a redhead and she has reddish eyebrows, so make sure you use a kind of red color if you want to copy that look. And I'm trying to just give my eyebrows a reddish tinge and I'm also pulling them out to the side so they're more straight like the Black Widow's. Her eyebrows are kind of very straight to the side, they don't have much of an arch. So I had to pull my eyebrows a lot to try and copy that. Next I use this teal eyeshadow and I just applied that all over my eyelid. Next I use this brown colour that my right fingers are not the other one <laughs> and I applied that in my crease. Grab your blending brush and blend that up. Then I use my black eyeliner and just line my waterline in the top and the, just the outer third of my bottom line. Then I use a highlight colour which I fortunately failed to show you very well and I just applied that into the inner corner of my eye. And I also applied it on my waterline. You could use a white eyeliner if you prefer, but I kind of lost mine and I couldn't find it, so I used an eyeshadow instead. Then I'm back in with that black eyeliner and I'm just doing a very thin line at the top of my eyelid for a smudgy, natural kind of look. This is a tricky bit. Okay, so Scarlett has kind of like bags under her eyes, but they're not bags, it's just like a more prominent um, under eye circle. So you gotta kind of trace under your eyeball, so it kind of pops out a bit more and looks a bit more almost cartoonish. And then I just blended it with a nice fluffy brush to make it look more natural. Then I use a mascara and just applied that like usual to the top and the bottom lashes. For the lips I use this nude lip liner and this is a very uncomfortable close up so sorry about that. And yes, I just applied that and I made my lips slightly larger for the top because she has large lips. And I flattened my cupid's bow a bit so I made it much more shallow and less pointy like mine is naturally. 
And then I use this lipstick from Buxton and it is a nude pinky color just like the one that she wears in the movie. She has the same look in all of the movies. The only thing that changes is her hair. And then just apply your favorite lip gloss to the center of your lip on the top and bottom for a highlight and blend that with your ring finger. And the look is complete. It's a really nice natural kind of look and it's really fun to do. And if you guys want to know how to edit your hair like I did here to make it red, I can show you if you ask. Yeah.